Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how to create a custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Uh, so this is, this is some thumbnails I created um, for this tutorial series using Sweet Home 3D. And I'm gonna actually just hit print screen right now and go into Inkscape. I'm gonna right click and go to paste. I'm just gonna paste this screenshot and I'm gonna do that actually one more time. I just wanna get a couple different examples. We'll grab some videos here and go print screen because what I want to do is actually see what these look like. So if we zoom in here a little bit, I can kind of get an idea for what the thumbnail will look like. So on a on the playlist, look at this, the times the the length of the video kind of covers up the bottom right hand corner of the video. And if we come over here to these other ones, just a regular one, it's not as this is a larger video, so the timestamp doesn't take up as much space. There's also a little clock in the top right hand corner that could cover something. So when I'm designing this thumbnail, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I keep the top right hand corner and the bottom right hand corner kind of don't have anything very important there that'll get covered up. See, when I designed these ones, I actually didn't consider that very well because I have the logo here that kind of gets covered up when it's in the playlist view. So in designing this one, I'm gonna change that a little bit. So what I can do, first of all, I'm just gonna I'll just get my uh, rectangle tool and I'll draw a little rectangle here and I'll make it maybe like a, a lighter gray and turn the opacity way down so I can kind of see through it a little bit. Maybe we'll make it like red so we can see what's going on here. Okay, perfect. So this is kind of the, the size and then I actually am going to want to go, um, I'm going to kind of just try and kind of match this. So I'll, I'll get my text and I'll just type in floor plus foundation and I happen to know the font that I used for this. If I go into my text and text and font, uh, what I used was Nexa bold. And we go to apply. And so now we have a nice Nexa bold here. And then uh, I believe that's oh, control Z, control Z. So I believe um, I'm gonna lock this lock here so that kind of constrains it to X and Y axis when I resize it so it doesn't get out of, there we go. So that looks pretty good. So now what I've done here is sort of, sort of copied this. Uh, yeah, and I can go Control D to duplicate. I can come down here and rename this part. Down here is called Lesson 2. So I'm, I'm copying my own work here, but I'm just showing you an example of what you can do. If you find a thumbnail you kind of like and you want to pattern it after. So basically I've kind of patterned this. And now we have, this is the logo down here. So all this really has is a border. And then it has a, a logo or an icon of, the, of whatever I'm talking about because I'm doing tutorial videos on how to use software. Then it has this banner that says TJ Free across the, the bottom there. So to, I can create that banner, I think by kind of getting a nice blue here. I can actually, if I turn my opacity all the way up, where's it at? And I can grab my color picker and actually get the same color that was used in this video. So now I'm using the same color and I can rotate it to about the same angle. That's pretty close there. Maybe I'll just do this. This isn't the best way to do it, but at least it gets it pretty close here. It doesn't matter that it's sticking out past the edges because uh, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's great. And then I'll get some text there to say TJ Free. I don't know what font that was in. TJ Free. And we turn it white. Oops, we turn it white. And then we'll also rotate it. Oh, let me resize it first. So this looks like it's definitely a, a different font. I wonder if this was a... Uh, this Babus, Babus Noi, um, <laughs> apply. Yeah, it is Babus Noi, look at that. One of the most common fonts of all time used on YouTube. So here we go. So now we got this nice TJ free here and I'll, I'll rotate it so that it fits perfectly in there, but that's pretty good. Awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this whole thing. I'm gonna come back and we'll change this back to how I wanted it to be real quick. We'll put the stroke on. And we'll make it, sorry about that, we'll make it pixels. What did I have it at three pixels about? All right, so this is what, it's, this is what my, my thumbnail is looking like now. So I wanna create a, 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 
thumbnail that's going to be the same throughout the whole series. Just like on this one, it's the same. I just change the text. And I say lesson four, lesson five. I change the text at the top, but everything else stays the same. So I want to do the same thing for this one, but I want it to be Inkscape. And so I have, I found the Inkscape uh, logo. I got it from Wikipedia. And it's actually here in, is it pictures? Yeah, I've got it right here. So I'm going to actually just drag it in. I'm dragging the Inkscape oh, icon into Inkscape. And it's actually, it looks like it's really big, but that's because what really happened is this thing that we designed is really small. So I'm going to select it. Let's make it large. In fact, let's make it the size that it really needs to be. So to do that, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Document Properties and change my document to 1920 by 1080. That's the size of the thumbnail. Uh, I'm going to put it in pixels. That's the size of the thumbnail that is a pretty good, t you can do smaller to upload to YouTube, but I would recommend doing 1920 by 1080. That way if someone's watching on like Roku TV or like um, if they're just, if they're browsing full screen, um, it'll, it'll show up properly. Okay. So now, now I, because I changed my document properties, this is the size of my, of my finished thing. So I'll just move this on here and kind of roughly put it to the same size like that. That's pretty good. And then I'm actually going to click on my square and make sure that it's exactly how I want it to be too, or my rectangle. So pixels. So I'll make it 1920 by 1080 exactly. And then I'll just put it exactly within the constraints of this document. And that's perfect. Okay, pretty good. So this is gonna, this thing, let's see. I think I want my border, I'm gonna hit page up, or I'll just raise to top so that it covers up, the covers over top of this. Does this have transparency? Yes. Let's make it 100%. And then we'll change the color of it to, I haven't decided what color I wanna do. Oh yeah, no, I did. That's right, I wanna do gray. So let's go back to this and let's make it gray. All right, and so now I want to move, I want to move this up a little bit. I want that to be centered in there, about like that. And now I'm going to hit Control G and group this, and then I can move them together. I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard right now, so about right there is pretty good, I think, for a, a banner. Is that about how I did on my last one? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So now I need a background image. Well, actually, I don't need a background image. Is this 1920 by 1080? I told it to be. No, it's not. Oh, I know why. I had it locked. 1920 by 1080. Now it is. Now I can relock it. Perfect. So there we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to add in. So now I have my, my icon here. So I'm going to take it, we'll resize it down a little bit. I'm not sure what font they use for this. So remember, I want to keep out that area at the bottom right hand corner. Did I erase that? I think I did. Um, but I want to keep that area free there. And that's the whole reason I brought it in. I can't believe I did that. I'm going to hit print screen again. And I'm going to come paste it in again, paste. So really, let's make this like super transparent. And then we'll make it, we'll make this kind of, I guess, what's the best way to do this? This is not the best way to do this actually, but we'll just give it a try. So what I want to do is kind of make this the same size as my video down here, which I'm getting close. And then I can see how much of that is taken up by, that's pretty good. So now when I overlay this here, and actually what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to take and copy this. So I have two different versions. So now I go duplicate, move the whole thing over here. So it's out of the way. Now I can look at this one and I can see, all right, so it looks like that takes up quite a bit. So that's good there. I could actually, I could still, I could still make this, um, lower this to the bottom here. I can still move. I can make this icon larger. I can put it anywhere. I just don't want to get it here. If I put it here, it'll get covered up. So I could put it even a little bit further over this way if I wanted to because I, I really want to have some sort of a background image. But I think I might just center it. So centered it, centering it should be fine. Okay, good to know. So I'll come back over here. I feel like I'm talking a lot and 
hope I'm not confusing you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go uh, grab all this stuff. I'm going to go, or not all of it. I'm actually just going to grab this and then shift and do this. And we're going to center these on each other. So I'm going to go object, align and distribute, and we'll center those up. So now this is right in the center. This I don't necessarily want in the center. I want, but I do want it to be lined up. I want these to be pushed like this. Great. And then we'll put this kind of up here. That's pretty good. Oh, and this lesson two was it had its own little banner behind it. That's because there was a background image. So I could just export this right now, and we could see what it looks like. I don't love it yet, but let's if we just let's go to export and see. So we go export PNG. We'll export it to the desktop, and we'll call it test one. And that's not on my desktop. Let's put it uh, on the desktop. Test one, perfect. And then. Let's make the size. We'll make this like 92 DPI and we'll make this 1920 by 1080. Perfect. 96 DPI. Very good. Uh, okay, export. So now it'll only export the selection. So it, it'll, it should cut off that banner and we'll see what that looks like. Not bad. So it has a transparent background, which is not super great. And then it has this TJ free. Did my last one do that? I can't tell. I think the I think this blue banner did go over the last one. So let's make that happen in this one too. So we just to do that, we just take the blue banner and send it, raise it to the top. So now it will go over it. Okay. Uh, and then like I said, it had a it has a transparent background. So it's hard to tell exactly how it looks. So let's put uh, a background. So I thought about using this at one point in time, and maybe I still will. Uh, yeah, so let's just drag this guitar and this is a guitar that I drew in Inkscape a while ago when I was first learning Inkscape. Um, so we could put it as the background. To do that, we, we just raise it up like this and then lower it to the bottom level. So that actually looks pretty good. The only problem is now the Inkscape logo is not exactly where I'd want it to be. Hmm. No, I don't think I want to do that. I have another. I have another image I want to. I want to try, and that is this uh, Nintendo thing that I drew up. So it's kind of a cool thing too. So we could try this one. Although it has a black background, I don't love that. I wish I had the. I do have the original of this somewhere. Ugh, that's not going to work at all, is it? No. So I need to find a good background image that kind of exemplifies Inkscape. I don't know exactly what to do there. I mean, I could, I suppose I could just gra I could just draw something like this and give it like a gradient. Let's come down here to my fill and stroke. Where's that at? Right click, fill and stroke. Um, let's give it a, a, a gradient from the center out. And let's make it like gray maybe. Oops, let's do gray with a gray gradient. And then let's lower it all the way down. Yeah, that does not look that does not look amazing to me. I think this is too. Oops, this is too dark, maybe. And I think my I want this to be reversed. This gradient. Let's try it like that. Let's give it a little bit of subtle. Let's give it some subtle color. That's not bad. Like light purple. Could just give it a color background, and then we'd give this more of a, a, a lighter color. So I've been playing with this for a little bit, and I actually did a couple things. So I added a drop shadow to this. I put a little a little white banner here, and I added a drop shadow to it, sort of like a little black uh, backing to it. I added uh, the text to the Inkscape below. I made the icon a little bit larger, and then obviously I changed it to this sort of blue color instead of the purple, which I think I like a lot better. Uh, so now I think I like this. I haven't actually quite exported it just yet in this version, but I'm going to do an export real quick here. And I'll just take it to desktop again. And I'll call this RRR, save, export. So now I'll take a look at this one and see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I think that'll be nice. Um, I'm not so sure I love that white now around there, but I think it'll be small enough. I don't think people will really notice. 
But you know what? I am going to take it out. I'm going to take out this. I have this sort of white. Actually, I'm just going to. What I'm going to do? I'm going to come here and grab just the white part. Do I have the white selected? Yeah. And I'm going to actually add a little bit of blur to it. That'll make it look better. All right. Very cool. Uh, now, so what I need to do is. I need to create a bunch of these. So I'm gonna come over here and delete this so it's not taking up any space. This is my original, I'll delete that. I'm gonna take and delete this purple one too. So now this is the final one that I want to use. And so everything I really want to do with this, I'm just gonna bring it over here. So if I come up here, I'm actually gonna to want to copy this a bunch of times. So I'm gonna take this floor and foundation and I'll just erase the text and type in the letter A. And then on lesson, I can keep it lesson two. It doesn't really matter. Then we just go control D and I'll just move it down here. Control D. So I need like a bunch of these control D because what I really need is how many of them? Let's come over here and look. I really need a uh, 20. <laughs> so I have, I have a couple here. And so let's come and just go. We'll take all these ones It's five. So then I duplicate this row. And now there's 10 and I duplicate it again. And now there's going to be 20. That's awesome. Before I get any further, I'm going to save this file, save as I'll save it uh, under my documents if I can, and I'll call it um, Inkscape tutorial thumbnails. That way, if I ever add a, few, a video in the future, like the one I'm making now is video 21, I can add it in there as well. And I'm just gonna come here to the very, very first top one and I'm just gonna rename this. So I'm gonna call this one lesson one and take this text and erase the A and type in basic drawing. And that's it. And that is that thumbnail. So now I can export this and upload it and replace it in here. So I'll just show you just a quick video here. I've renamed all of them so I have all these different thumbnails now and I'm just exporting them so this is number nine export I think I already did that one so replace and then I've got 10 I just select it call it 10 and then hit export so it's actually very quick I have a workflow once I get all these going it just takes the selection which is that box so it doesn't get anything on the outside of that box I just rename it to what I want to be called and hit export so this one's 12 I click on it make sure it says 12 and hit export and then it's putting all of these on my desktop here. And I can just go through and see, I can open it up if I want and look through and see what they look like. And they're nice. And then once I'm done exporting them all, I'll upload them to YouTube. So that's it.